What is going on guys, it's Panjana here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the updated 2018 Ultimate FPS Increase Guide for Paladins. It's been around about a year ago since my previous video where I covered on Paladins and getting you guys the best FPS possible inside of there, and since then there has been tons of updates, the game has come out of its beta development stage and is actually released into a full title with inside of Steam, there's been tons of updates in terms of content, optimizations, and just overhauls to the game itself. And with all of those changes it's actually made some of the optimizations from my previous video obsolete and no longer work. So with inside of this video I'm going to be showing you guys the updated and ultimate way to increasing your FPS within Sala Paladins, regardless of what sort of system you're running on, whether that be a high-end system, low-end system, or even a medium-end system, regardless of where you land on that spectrum, you guys will be getting the best performance possible whilst getting a very nice visual fidelity. Later on in the video we can actually go ahead and further tweak around with our options to ensure that you guys can fine-tune your settings for some of you guys who wish to get better visual quality and slightly lower FPS. We can go through all of that later on in the video, as there is a lot of customization we can do to this. With inside of this video I'm going to be aiming to keep this as fast and as to the point as possible to give you guys the best results in the least amount of time. For you guys who do enjoy this video and are happy with the results, please do leave a like on this video as it helps me out tremendously. Also, if you can leave your results, feedback, questions and queries, or even suggestions down in that comment section below, it will be fantastic as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification if you wish to be notified instantly whenever I do upload new guides, whether it be for overall PC maintenance, other game specific guides or updated guides. Make sure you do press that bell notification to be notified instantly. So starting off with inside of this guide to keep it as fast and as effective as possible, what we're going to be doing is jumping straight into it. What you guys need to go ahead and do is navigate into the description down below like in most of my guides and find the download link for the FPS pack provided. With inside of that pack you'll have everything inside of there conveniently for you guys to access in terms of optimizations and game files and stuff like that. Go ahead to one of the download links down below, you can click on the first one or the second one if the first one doesn't work, download the pack and put it onto your desktop. It should have a name such as Paladins V2 FPS pack by Panj. Now to open up this file you you will either need a program called WinRAR or 7-Zip, take yourself over to Google, install one of those programs and come back to the video if you don't already have one. Once you've got one of those programs installed and you've put the FPS pack onto your desktop, simply go ahead and right click and hit extract here. Once you guys have done that, you'll then notice a folder with an identical name will appear on your desktop. Simply go into the folder and with inside of there you'll then be greeted with a game files folder, optimizations folder, credits.txt and launch options.txt. With inside of the credits.txt you can find the original download sources for any of the programs included in this guide, so you can go over to the original author's website, pay credit over towards them, check out the latest downloads or a further in-depth explanation as to what some of the stuff with inside of this guide does, but I'll be doing my best to briefly explain things as we go along. So starting off what we're going to be doing is actually going ahead and installing our custom game files first, as this is the best step to start with. Simply navigate into the game files folder provided, and with inside of there you should be seeing around about 6 custom game files. Now to install these is actually very very simple. What I recommend doing is dragging this folder over to the right hand side of your desktop and minimizing it just so it looks similar to this so it can stay open but out of the way. What we're then going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side, going to our file explorer by right clicking, opening the file explorer, dragging this window over to around about the left hand side of the screen, and then what we can do with inside of here is actually go to our documents. With inside of documents go ahead and navigate to the folder called my games. Then with inside of my games navigate into the folder called paladins live double click on Paladins Live, this time we're going to be going into Chaos Game, then into Config, and then inside of here you'll then notice that these are all of your game files. What we're then going to be doing is going over to the right hand side to the custom game files I've provided, highlighting all of them, dragging them over to our normal game folder, and replacing the files in this destination. Once it's then done that, simply go ahead and you can exit out of both of the folders. Our custom game files have now been installed, and proceeding on from there we're going to be going back into the FPS pack provided, this time going into the launch options.txt by double clicking and you'll be greeted with the launch options in which we're going to be using. To use these launch options simply go ahead and go all the way to the right hand side, highlight and drag all the way to the left just like so, right click and hit copy. Simply go ahead and exit out of the launch options notepad, this time we're going to be going down and actually going to Steam or wherever you have Paladins installed and going ahead and booting into the launcher. Once the Paladins launcher has then opened up, simply go ahead and navigate into the bottom left hand side and click on the settings cog found here. Once you guys have clicked on that, simply go ahead to the options tab, go to the optional game command line parameters, and then go ahead and right click in there and press paste. It should look very similar to this. Once that's done, also ensure that you use 64-bit client is checked down there as well. And once you guys have got both of those set, go ahead and press apply. And we can then exit out of the options and we can then exit out of the launcher until later on. At this point in the video we can actually go ahead and apply some EXE fixes to the game application itself to ensure that we can further optimise the performance you're experiencing with inside of the game and lower any stuttering you might also be experiencing. To do this we're going to be going ahead and navigating down to Steam, going over to Paladins again, this time we're going to be right clicking on Paladins and going to Properties, 
With the sub of the properties tab which then opens up, I like to go ahead and actually disable the steam overlay whilst in game by unchecking it. As the reason I'm going to be doing this as Paladins itself actually has a separate friends list and in-game talking system to Steam and it is not required and having the Steam overlay functionality enabled can in some cases actually deteriorate from your FPS. So to stop this and to ensure that we're getting the best FPS possible and this never has an effect on this, I like to personally turn this off for Paladins. Once you guys have got that done, simply navigate to the top to local files. Once you clicked on that, go down to the browse local files tab and click on that. Once you're inside of there, you'll then be greeted with three folders and this file. Once you're inside of there, we're then going to be navigating to where it says binaries. We're then going to be going to the Win64 folder. Scroll all the way down to you find the Paladins application just here. This time we're going to be going ahead and actually right clicking on Paladins. Going down to the properties tab. With inside of here, we're then going to be going over to the compatibility tab found here at the top. And we're going to start off by disabling full screen optimizations found here. Once that's then set, go ahead and go down to change high DPI settings. And this time we're going to be going down to high DPI scaling override and overriding it just like so by checking that box. Once that box has then been checked, simply go ahead and press OK, press apply and OK, and those settings have now been saved. You can then go ahead and simply exit out of all of these folders and we can then minimize Steam for later on. Now that we're done installing all of our custom command lines and custom config files into the game itself, what we can now go ahead and do is ensure that our window settings are set optimally for the best gaming performance possible to ensure that we're getting the highest FPS and the least amount of lag and the least amount of stutter on practically every single game out there, not just with Inside of Paladins, but you'll be seeing benefits across the board. After that, what we're then going to be doing is going into the Paladins settings with Inside of the game to further optimize and customize them depending on what your system specs are like for the optimal performance and visual quality. So starting off with inside of the Windows tweaks, what we're going to be doing is actually navigating to the bottom left hand side. We're going to be typing in power. Once you've typed in power, we're then going to be looking for any of the battery icons with the cord going around it. it doesn't matter what the option says, just simply find this icon and click on one of the options. Once the option has then opened up, simply go ahead to the top bar here and find where it says power options and click on that to be taken to the main menu. Once you're inside of here, simply go ahead and navigate to the Show Additional Plans drop down menu. And then, within inside of here, you'll then see all of the power plans available to you. For the majority of you guys, you will not be seeing the Ultimate Performance Power Plan, but you should be seeing Balanced, Power Saver, and High Performance. The reason you guys are not seeing Ultimate Performance is it's not a default option with inside of Windows, but I do have a video in which you can follow it in the top right hand side of the screen now, which will take you over to my guide on how to actually enable this with inside of Windows. It's very quick, simple, and easy, and it's highly effective. So, you guys can click on the card on the screen now. The video will also be found in the description down below and at the end of the video if you wish to follow it on later on. For any of you guys who do not wish to follow that video and you're not particularly bothered by it and you just wish to follow with this guide, you can go with the high performance power plan instead. But for any of you guys who can and do have the ultimate performance, go with that. So depending on which of these two you're going with, simply go ahead and highlight it. We can then go ahead to the change plan settings option. And with inside of here, you can set these two options here to anything you wish to do so as they have no effect on the guide whatsoever. This is just personal preference. Once you've then gone ahead and set those to whichever you wish to do so, we're then going to be going down to change advanced power settings. Then with inside of this option, we're then going to be going over to the hard disk tab, going over to turn off hard disk after, going to the setting, double clicking on the blue text or the blue number, double clicking on it and setting the number to zero. Once you guys have done that, go ahead and press apply. We can then scroll all the way down to processor power management, minimum processor state, maximum processor state, highlighting both of those, and we can then go ahead and ensure that they are both set to 100%. If these numbers are not set to 100%, again, double click on the number, set it to 100, press apply, press OK. You can then save changes to your power options, and we can then exit out. Now, I know for some of you guys who frequently follow my content or have watched my previous videos, some of these options can be similar, but the reason I'm going to be sharing them with you again is just to ensure that these settings are applied, especially because since my last Paladins guide, there's been a lot of Windows updates, and typically with bigger Windows updates, a lot of these settings get set back to default, so it's always safe to just make sure that these settings are applied. So if you have set these settings before, I urge you to go back and make sure that they are still set and none of them have been set back to default. Now that we've optimized our Windows Power Plan, we can then proceed to go back into the FPS Pack provided this time going into the optimizations folder and this time we can actually go to our CPU core parking setup version 2.1.10. This works best after you've optimized your power plan already so ensure that you've done that step and then we can continue on with the CPU core parking setup. We can then go ahead and simply double click on the core parking setup to open up the setup wizard. And again, guys, you can go into the credits.txt to be taken to the original author's website and where you can read up in further detail as to what this program does. 
but for a brief explanation what this basically does is what it allows you guys to do is actually customize what the Windows setting is for how much of your CPU can be throttled under load. Typically Windows takes around about 20% of your CPU power even when you're gaming just to ensure that everything in the background has even distribution and I personally turn this all the way off for practically every single PC I get my hands on. I personally think it's terrible and you can get some fantastic FPS gains, you can reduce your lag within inside of games and it's one of the first tweaks I do when I get my hands on someone else's PC or a new one of my own. So once you guys are inside of the setup wizard simply go ahead and press next, accept the terms to the license agreement and press next once more, press next and install. Once the program is then installed ensure that launch CPU core parking 3exe is enabled here in the bottom and press finish. After a short amount of time the program will then open up and you might be notified that there is an update for the program. If there is you can choose to update if you wish to do so, I'm personally not going to bother but you guys can stay up to date if you wish to do so. With inside of here you should then notice that your program should look similar to mine but the text and the numbers and the settings should look different. Now I know some of you guys watching might be a little bit intimidating by how this program looks and it might look a little bit complicated but it's actually very simple and we're only going to be changing four options. So we're going to be starting off by going over to the power plan found here on the top left hand side to power data. We're then going to go to the drop down menu and we're going to match this power plan with inside of here to the one we set in Windows earlier on, a couple of steps back. So if you guys went with high performance, select high performance. If you went for ultimate performance or something else, select that power plan to match it. So for me I went with ultimate performance, so I'm going to be matching it to ultimate performance. Then with inside of here we can then start off by going to the core parking index. For some of you guys these options will not be set all the way up to 100% and that's fine as they're going to be changing these. So core cool parking index, we're going to be grabbing the slider found here and we're going to be dragging it all the way up to 100%. What the CPU core parking index option is actually allowing you to do is change the amount of CPU cores Windows can park. We can then proceed to go over to frequency scaling index and again dragging this all the way up to 100%. This is giving you control over the speed of those cores, so we want this to be set all the way up to the top which is 100%. And again we can then go over to turbo boost index, drag this all the way up to 100% which is the maximum turbo speed at which those cores can go at. Now just before we apply I know some of you guys might be panicking thinking that your CPU is going to be running at 100% load all the time and it might run really hot and the answer to that is no this should not have any effect on anything like that. This basically just means that when your PC is under load especially when you're gaming your resources should be going in the correct places with none of them being throttled which should help you guys minimize any lag spikes you're experiencing and overall just boost your FPS. So once all of those settings have been set to 100% and you've matched your power plan, go ahead and press the apply button. Once you've done that, it will then notify that changes have successfully been applied, press OK, and we can then exit out of the program. Now at this point in the video, what we can actually go ahead and do is actually boot into Paladins itself, open up the game, boot into the launcher, and get to the game's main menu just like so. And inside of here, what we can actually go ahead and do is further tweak and customize our options depending on your system specs, and what sort of visual quality you want, and what sort of FPS you want. So once you guys are at the main menu of Paladins, simply go ahead and navigate into the bottom right hand side to the options tab. Go to the video tab found here in the top left hand side and we can then start with tinkering around with our options depending on what sort of specs you're on. First important option which we're going to be tinkering around with is actually going over to the screen type and I recommend setting this to borderless windowed as sometimes with inside of Paladins going to full screen can cause crashes so just to avoid any of those and to ensure that you guys are not running into any issues I do recommend going with borderless windowed regardless of what sort of system you're on. This is then moving us on to one of the most important settings with inside of here which is actually resolution scale. Now on the screen now you'll see a criterion which you can match depending on your system specs as to what to set this resolution scale to for your system. So for anyone running on an ultra low end to low end machine I recommend starting off with going with a resolution scale of around about 50% maybe all the way up to around about 66% for any of you guys running on sort of low end hardware. You should be seeing the best FPS results there. For anyone running on a sort of medium end system that might be a little bit older I recommend sticking with the resolution scale of 66% but you could bump this all the way up to 89% if you wish to do so. And for anyone running on a medium end to high end machine, I recommend sticking with a resolution scale of 89% as well. For anyone running on a higher machine or an ultra higher machine, you can actually go ahead and bump this all the way up to 100. But just for reference, I'm running on an ultra higher machine and I personally prefer running this at 89 as I find that my frame rate is a lot smoother with this and I run into a lot less issues. So again, you can set this according to your system specs found on the screen here. But do feel free to come in here and customize this around until you find a setting in which you like. Anti-aliasing for every machine is going to be set to off, alongside vertical sync is going to be disabled, world detail is going to be low, shadow detail low, texture detail low, particle detail low, shader quality low, gamma can be set to anything that is personal preference, FOV can be set to anything that is also personal preference, but do bear in mind the higher FOV you're using, you will start to deteriorate your FPS. So if you want the best FPS possible, you're actually going to be wanting to lower your FOV. 
show live video is going to be set to disabled and we can go with these settings here for practically every machine. Now for any of you guys who wish to have a further increase to your visual fidelity but don't really want to take away from the FPS and you just wish to get a better visual bump as you're not happy with the graphics, what I recommend changing is actually going to texture detail, setting this to either medium or high, particle detail you can set to medium, shader quality you can set to medium, world detail we're going to be setting to medium as well and these are the settings in which i'd stick for for the highest end machine no matter how good your pc is you should not be exceeding these settings with inside of the screen now as this will give you guys the best balance of visual fidelity fps and removing some of the clutter with inside of the screen to give you guys a better playing experience but for any of you guys who can put up with it i recommend sticking all of this on low anyway and i'm personally going to be setting my resolution scale to 89 percent once that's then done, you can then simply go ahead and press apply, and we can then exit out of the game until later on. And that brings us on to one of the last steps with inside of the video. What we're going to be doing is actually navigating back into the FPS pack provided by double clicking. This time going to the optimizations folder again, and this time we're going to be getting the time resolution application and dragging it onto our desktop. Once it's been dragged onto our desktop, I can now go ahead and explain how to use this program and what it does. The basic gist of what this program actually does is it lowers the amount of latency between the hardware within inside of your system, the game application itself, and the operating system. The reason this benefits you is it gives you lower input lag within inside of games and within inside of Windows itself. It should help with any stuttering issues, loading issues, and FPS issues, as it lowers the amount of response time in between those things and just smooths out practically everything, ensuring that everything can talk to each other at a much more optimized rate and a lot more clearly. I personally use this program for practically every single heavy task I do, whether that's any game I'm playing, whether it be video editing or photo editing, whatever I'm doing on my machine, if it's somewhat demanding, I'm always running time resolution and I recommend you do too. It's a fantastic lightweight program and I use it all the time. So for a basic demonstration as to how to use the program, what you basically go ahead and do is double click on the program to open it up. You then go ahead and click on the maximum button. You'll then notice that your current resolution information then changes to a lower number. Go ahead and minimize the program at this point, ensuring that the program is still open but minimized. You can then go ahead and boot into whichever game you're gonna be playing or whichever task you're gonna be doing. Do the task, play the game for however long you wish to do so. Once you're then done playing the game, exit out of the game or the application. Go back to the program by maximizing it, pressing the default button to set the resolution back to the normal value and exiting out of the program. And that leads us on to the last step with inside of this guide. And that is to actually go into the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows button, go to the power button, right click and restart your machine. The reason we're gonna be restarting our machine is just to ensure that everything has been applied in terms of our new paging file and stuff like that. And everything is good to go and you're ready to play the game. So go ahead and restart your system, come back to this video, open up Steam and be ready to play the game. Welcome back to the video guys, you should have now restarted your PCs and be ready to boot into the game, have Steam open and be ready. So last but not least for the last step with inside of this guy, we're going to be going ahead and booting into time resolution, seeing we're about to play the game, selecting maximum, minimizing the program, going over to Steam, going over to Paladins and pressing play. And that is it guys, my updated 2018 Ultimate FPS Increase Guide for Paladins. If you guys did enjoy this video and are happy with the results, please do press that like button as it helps me out tremendously. Leave your results down in that comment section down below alongside any questions, queries, or suggestions for new content as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. And for any of you guys who are looking to further increase the performance with inside of your systems, not just with inside of games, but pretty much across the board, there are a few videos I've linked down in the description down below in which you guys can follow. You can also find them at the end of this video in terms of overclocking your graphics card, optimizing Windows fully. There's tons of guides out there from myself, which all ensure that you guys can get the best FPS possible. And if you've got a little bit of time to spare, I recommend following as many as you can, as the results can be phenomenal and in some cases pretty much completely transform a machine into a slow sluggish machine up to a pretty capable gaming machine, which is speedy and enjoyable to use. If you guys do enjoy this content and appreciate the work on this channel, please do press that subscription button and that bell notification to be notified whenever I do upload. And again, for any of my frequent followers, you guys can find my Patreon link down in the description down below if you wish to further support me and the work in which I do on this channel. None of it is necessary, it's just for you guys who wish to further support the work in which I do and frequently follow me. And last but not least, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I've been Banjano, and I'm out.